When I see a skip, I see colors, flowers, rainbows, different tones and reflections. I see opportunities, hopes and dreams. And you know why? Because I choose so. I choose to see it all in the name of beauty, playfulness and fun. Because it all makes me feel free and happy. So, as opposed to the video when I showed you the ugly side of rubbish lying around Spain, today I wanted to share a funny side of it. Oh my god, that's a great rope actually. Suddenly seeing free things everywhere, isn't that great? Thinking I should go back to recycling, that's what I did in Jersey. I was recycling and upcycling everything that I could get for free from people. See, people check out all sorts of things, even the ones that are still in good order. But because of this mass consumption, wanting to buy better, newer items so that they can remain cool and trendy, trying to compensate their frustration and boredom in life. For me, this just opened my eyes to possibilities of making my dream about building an artist village into a reality sooner than I might have anticipated. Whatever others decide to be ugly, I give it another chance to shine. I let the ugly duckling turn into a ballerina jumping across the fences like there is no tomorrow. In fact, there is another day, but only for the bold and brave. For those who cherish the life, things and other people. Spreading love sprinkling stars and illuminating the skies with the lightning of inspiration to create but also to enjoy these creations to the fullest and brightest plus saving the planet of course in the same time i think this is just incredible so on the snoopy walks i found it very entertaining just to have a sneak what there is lying around putting my imagination skills into a test by picturing what I could make out of these abandoned materials and items. And hey, can you hear the crickets in the background? Oh my God, so much material. Bloody hell. I could use it all to build this village. Oh my God, even the blocks. What's wrong with this bus? Nothing. My heart is aching that I don't have place just yet. Everything could be put there. Oh. I just pray that all this stuff will be here. But, wow, look at all this. From this, I could make structure for chickens. Wow, that's so stable. Wow, so much wood. Also, visualizing what kind of place I want to find for my incredible village. Definitely a place with trees, and the bigger the better, that could give us a shade on those hot days, as well as give that Alice in Wonderland feel to the place. There you put your Malibu and enjoy the view. Awesome, isn't it? Amazing thing. So you can bake pizzas, you can do barbecue, you can make flatbreads, etc. And so, just to get the ball rolling, I bumped into this amazing chair. I had a little look at it and decided to take it as a first item for my village. And so, just for the interest, I went to the shops to see how much this chair actually cost. And here is the proof. And there's nothing wrong with this chair. It just got a little bit rust on the legs, but that I can spray over with the black spray paint. Everything else is perfect. This chair could become the one where I will be sitting after a productive day, watching the sun go down, coloring the sky in many different tones, giving the village even more magical look and feel, inviting new visions that can all be turned into a reality in the days to follow. Great stuff, great stuff. But for now, let this be, yet again, one of the best days in my life. Let me just be here and show my gratitude and appreciation to the universe, who is the one and the only one 
who wishes to express himself so badly, and as he is that unseen force, the only way to express himself is through us. Let's stay creative. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to go and check my links. Join me on Patreon for nature's videos. And go on my fundraising page. And put a little bit of money into my absolutely amazing project where we all gonna meet up. Sooner or later. Love you so much, guys. And see you in my next video.